I'm your man Uncommon Sense here, and welcome to the Uncommon Sense Fam. If you're new to the channel, we're gonna encourage you to do all three if you figure out this is the place for you to be. We wanna like, comment, and subscribe. For my returning Uncommon Sense Fam, how you guys been? Hopefully everything's going well with you guys. And it's an honor and a pleasure to be able to be back here with you guys and share with you a tag video today that Luke is Poe has sent to us. It's called Scent Your State. So I'm gonna actually be taking it one up. I'm gonna scent my state and then I'm gonna scent my city. You know what time it is. You know exactly what's about to happen. We about to get into this thing. Let's go. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way up to my man Luke for issuing the challenge today. The man's a genius, he's hilarious. He comes up with some excellent content, namely this challenge. I'm gonna leave his information in the description. For my other creatives and YouTubers out there that do challenges, tag me in, because I'm always down to put my spin on a great challenge. So one thing that I want to do is just represent the state, of Illinois, close to the Great Lakes. So I thought it only appropriate if I represent with a three in one. We got Salt, Air, Ocean, and Thunderstorm by Demeter. Now the interesting thing about this pack is the Demeter fragrances smell extremely accurate. I'm not had a Demeter fragrance yet that I've smelled that didn't smell reminiscent of what Ever. it was inspired by. First up, Ocean. Ocean's an aquatic. It's salty. It's watery. It's fresh. Smells like the ocean. Went to California for my graduation last year. The interesting thing is I got a chance to go to Venice Beach. It's reminiscent of what the beach smelled like. It was amazing. We got ocean. Even though we don't have an ocean in Illinois, we do have the Great Lakes. Only thing we're missing is salt water. The one thing about Demeters is they tend to be skin sense after a little bit of time. They're not monster projectors. They're not super duper in your face. They're not loud. But what they do manage to do is smell great. Being uncommon sense, I don't see much talk about Demeter, nor have I seen anybody review this one, so I figured I'd plug it away. Next up, thunderstorm. We have had unseasonably stormy weather recently, so again, I figured this would be a good one to feature because this one captures the scent of petrichor. It's like that ozonic scent when it's about to rain or it's just rain, and that rain scent is in the air and it's freshly hidden soil and kicking up a little bit of dust. For some reason, the thunderstorm kind of smells like freshly cut grass, which is interesting to me. But again, that kind of makes sense, especially if it's raining enough, the damn grass will be growing, so there's that. But this smells amazing on skin. It's a peculiar scent, but Illinois is a peculiar ass state, so how about that? Last but not least, in the Demeter Fragrance Library, we have Salt air, straightforward. Salt air, ocean spray type of vibes. This one's fresh, it's aquatic, it's salty. It kind of reminds me of the salt and slush we see in winter time, but not as fresh. It's not cold, but it's just enough for the slow to be slushy and heavy. This smells like when the salt trucks are out, putting down the salt, making sure the roads are safe. It's fresh, it's a green accord in here. I love it. I actually love this one. And the interesting thing is on the bottle, it calls these a pick-me-up spray. These are mood enhancers. These are familiar scents that kind of get your mood on track. That's the first way I'm gonna scent my state of Illinois. Shout out to my sister. This whole package was a gift from her. She keeps me plugged with the great fragrances. Her and I have that commonality where we love fragrances that are out, the new companies, and different things that they're doing. So shout out to my sister. I love you so very much, sis. And thank you for providing me with this excellent gift set that smells both fresh and clean. 
And you guys know those are my monikers. Those are my things in terms of uncommon sense. Fresh, clean, sexy. Boom, boom. That's how we roll. Next up, Azaro Wildman. Mm. Fresh, clean, green, and mean. Mint, as you can tell. But you guys know, I'm partial to know the men on my skin. It can do no wrong. I picked this one partially because wild mint to me kind of reminds me of weed. So, this does not smell like cannabis. However, a wild mint kind of looks like cannabis leaves. And since Illinois just legalized weed for recreational use, I want to go ahead and represent wild mint for Illinois. This one's fresh, clean, and sexy. There's a note in here called Calypsone that kind of leans melon-like. I love that. Kind of reminds me of my tropical roots, mangoes, melons, and all that beautifulness. Getting a little bit more granular, Chicago is very divided. You have different sides, and even on different sides of north, south, and west, and there's a section of the south side, AKA the east side, you have very segmented and Segregated neighborhoods. One neighborhood that I actually lived in for a while was the hundreds. When I first moved officially to Chicago, I lived in the hundreds. So, and that's actually deemed the wild hundreds because the hundreds used to be a very interesting and wild neighborhood. Those are wild men. Next up, Perry Ellis 18 and 10. Perry Ellis 18 and 10 to me represents Illinois more cheaply Chicago because it can be an interesting experience to live in Chicago. It can be tough, man. Depending on where you live, depending on what you got to go through, it's an experience. And I've never lived in New York, but they say if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. I kind of feel like Chicago is the same. If you can make it in Chicago proper, you can make it just about anywhere. With that being said, the pace of the city can be very fast. Periolus 18 and 10, if you've never smelled it, it kind of smells like Isimiyaki. I love it though. And on my skin, it lasts. Another reason why I selected Periolus 18 and 10 is because I can wear this to the clubs in Chicago and dance all night and still come out smelling good. It can last through the Chicago heat and the Chicago warmth of a nightclub. So, there we have it. Perry Ellis 18 and 10. Next up, we got Jean Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mall or Ultra Male. This is the Sweet Blue Beast. At first glance, it kind of reminds me of, I don't know if you guys remember this, the Big Blue Kisco popsicles. Summertime staple for Chicago, man. You can get it from the bodegas or the corner stores. It's sweet. It's intense. It smells amazing. But it's still something very sexy and masculine about it. So I think that's perfect for me in terms of my representation of what it means to be a man in Chicago, especially a black man on the South Side. I'm a Southeast side of myself. Another reason why I featured Demeter is because the lakefront is no more than about two miles away from me. That's where everybody congregates when it starts to get warm, hanging out. Ultra Mall is again another club banger. When I want to hang out in the city, regardless of the time of year, this was usually billed as a wintertime fragrance. I don't give a damn though. No. I wear it when I want to. Even in the heat, this one is this is so on point. Last but certifiably not least, Davidoff Cool Waters, the coolest edition. Check out this box, the presentation. That presentation is amazing. Blue is one of my favorite colors. I was put onto this fragrance by the Centurion over the pond. He featured this fragrance on his channel. I've never heard about this flanker inversion. I also usually don't really rock with flankers. However, you have to be an interesting one. And this caught my attention. Not only the presentation, the notes in this one is amazing. Peppermint is the top note. This is a 200 ml bottle. In addition to that, this presentation is solid. It's like Lexan or like the bulletproof glass. That's what 
it kind of reminds me of. You hear it click together. I can get this damn thing open. This big block of ice reminds me of wintertime in Chicago. And the polar vortex, the wind chill, the below zero temperatures, the lake effect snow, all of those things. On the front it says, keep your cool since 1988. The fragrance itself tells peppermint in the opening, along with that green aquatic cool water DNA, which is a clone of Creed's Green Irish Tool. The atomizer on this bad boy plays no games. It gives you a vast amount of juice. Matter of fact, Feeling fresh and cool. This fragrance is amazing. It has that kind of shower gel vibe. And fresh, clean, sweet, minty, sexy. I love this one. The interesting thing is it does have that cooling effect after Corona then took all the spring and some of the summer events with it. But I'll be grateful because I'm still here in good health. My family's good. This one smells amazing. It's fresh, it's clean, it's sweet, it's sexy. It's very indicative of what I hold true for myself as a young Chicago man on the south side. Blue, it's aquatic. It's blue yet green, and that's what's interesting to me. Thank you guys for watching this content. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank my man Luke over at Luke is Poe for issuing this challenge and including the brother. I really appreciate you, man. Love your content as well. And I'm going to tag a few people. Look out for your tags below. Um, first, I'm going to tag my good man Barry over at Centralize. I'm also going to tag my man Sid over at Fraghead Sid. Last but Definitely not least, I'm going to tag my man, Mr. Dare to Be Different. He's a YouTuber that's been away for a while, but he's coming back on the scene with some amazing content. Those are my tags. If you don't see yourself tagged here, but you want to jump in on this video, feel free to hop in and sit your state. I took it a step further and sent it my state and my city. Make it your own. Let me know what you guys come up with. And again, it's been your man, Uncommon Sense. I love you guys. I'm out. Until next time.